and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Zed. Let's bring back Yasuo. Yeah, it's been a little bit since we played Yasuo. We played this deck, the same version here, one week ago. Built a Yasuo deck where I just wanted to play Will of Ionia. And I wanted to play Will of Ionia so much that I'm playing 9 mana Will of Ionia. <laughs> you know, with playing 3 at Mina Swiftfoot. Uh, there's just these real big units, you know, they who endure deep, those kind of things that that uh, people are just not, you know, like people are not playing around Will of Ionia at all. We talked about that with our Fiora alone deck, how that deck's pretty well positioned because nobody plays Will of Ionia. And so we're going to be trying this Yasuo Zed. It worked pretty well for us a week ago. We're going to try it again. Um, you know, we do have two Ravenous Flocks in here instead of the Death Lotus, Death Lotuses that we used the last time. Um, but yeah, basically what Zed does in here, you're like, well, how does Zed really help? Zed is just like a, a threat that we can play earlier before Yasuo. Because obviously our top end, we already got a ton of top end here. We need to kind of put the pressure on our opponents. Like maybe they, you know, are using spells to get rid of the Zed where then our Yasuo can go unchecked, right? Like that's, that's basically what I want is I want another threat. Um, you know, we need a scotty pippen to our michael jordan i don't know for a sports reference i guess uh you know we need we need uh something else there uh so that whenever our um a plan isn't working um then we have a b plan and we have just a good b plan that maybe that can distract our opponent from our a plan um so yeah let's get started so we're gonna go play five games over in ranked give this one a try again and we'll see how we do yeah, absolutely. You can suggest plays, Matt. Absolutely. Yep. Um, yeah, it's always uh, good when everybody interacts in chat. Always enjoy that. All right, so Bilgewater. So the the thing is, there's one really expensive card that's different from the rest that we don't want to see, and that would be uh, Riptide Rex, because. Will of Ionia not so good against Riptide Rex because that's a you know it's a play trigger. It has a huge impact whenever you play the card. I'm keeping the first two. Um, I guess I keep these as well. Could see getting rid of that Culling Strike early or the Concussive Palm, honestly. <clears throat> but whenever you compare like all the expensive cards, they who endure Nautilus, Leviathan, there's one that's different from the rest, and that is. Um, and that is Riptide of Rex. So if I take the trade... I was hoping that that would keep them from attacking with the 2-1, but it didn't. If I played Zed, that would definitely not keep them from attacking with the 2-1. gonna play the zed again you know maybe eat a removal spell here next turn we save this three mana the next turn then we will uh, be able to have yasuo plus concussive palm that's what i'm kind of thinking here but obviously if they go make it rain and now we have to calling strike this stupid o1 Won't have the mana to have Yasuo plus Incusa Palm now. So 
that was the worst case scenario for us. Let's get to it. I dare you. They don't kill my Zed, I'm going right to attack. I'm attacking with the Zed. Not playing anything else first. Darn. So pretty good. So they're up two cards. We have a pretty even board, and they're up two cards. Um, could go Blade Twirler plus Sentry. If I do that, I have eight mana next turn, so I'm not having Yasuo plus Roar the next turn either. Maybe I just attack here and try to get Yasuo in play. Pick on someone your own speed. Go for intimidating roar the next turn with Yasuo in play. Neither the flames nor the deaths can play me, Captain. Think you're fast? Cute. I could definitely use a Concussive Palm or a Will of Ionia or something. This Gangplank is super scary. Okay, that's not bad. Never lost a fair game. What you says I don't share. I am reborn of salt and pride! So while I could go Intimidating Roar and stun all of these, maybe it's better just to go Sentry and stun this Gangplank. Let's see, because, yeah, Intimidating Roar does not level up Yasuo. I just need to keep this Gangplank from attacking and getting that attack trigger. Maybe I should have intimidating roared. Uh, I just have so many cards. We're not in a good spot. That's for sure. Not in a good spot, especially. I mean, I'm going down to four. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Explosives! Obviously, I can't beat lots of things. Cool, they stole my Will of Ionia. That's cool. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Okay, good hand. 
too efficient for me. Good hand. Uh, yeah, I like Legion Grenadier more than House Spiders. House Spiders just doesn't do very much. Um, I guess it does match up well against specifically Legion Grenadier, but against a lot of other things. Um, I, I do like... Or sorry, I said Legion Grenadier. Um, Petty Officer. It does match up great against Petty Officer. Against specifically that card. How Spider is better than Legion Grenadier. And our opponent had multiple Petty Officers. This card's a problem. But overall, I like Leg Legion Grenadier more. Especially like, like this matchup. Legion Grenadier much better than House Spiders. Because the, the three power, you know, could, trades a lot better. Um, I think we are mulliganing kind of everything. So I'll keep Arachnoid Sentry and Key Guardian. Cool. Let's open for Zed. Yeah, there's not there's not good card draw spells to play. That's why it's I mean I do have Key Guardian in here for that reason. Nothing escapes. There's my not watch. I mean deep meditation is just too expensive. With us not playing two spells in a turn hardly ever, it's just always a five mana card. In Avarosa's name. I mean, every, I mean everything in Ionia has gotten nerfed. Um Not a great option with Ionia right now. Gotcha. So there's a reason nobody plays this region. Wish Zed could beat Calling Strike, but it can't. Uh, I still have the mana for Calling Strike. What a beating. Please just don't have Calling Strike for once. Just don't have it. Should know that they always have the worst possible card. Reckoners are good in this matchup. My arrows? I think not. I do like just sitting here, sitting back and stunning these two ones. Your attack is obvious. I do like that. They walked around. Fuse is lit. Just giving them another chance to play Omen Hawk. Um, and, you know, tap out from Elixir of Iron. Alright, cool. I didn't have another cooling strike. These stories were true. Scared stiff. What did we catch? Keeping these. Avaros and sentries just stunned and not able to attack this is going to be pretty important. 
are just like clogging up their board. Bow to no one. Yasuo, where are you at? Yasuo would be leveled up and now be a 5-5, and so it wouldn't die to Culling Strike. Oh, come on. We gotta be doing that. I was feeling pretty good about this game, too. They're keeping, like... These sentries just stunned where they'd have to just obliterate them and then not, uh, you know, not get any card draw from them. And like we were running them out of cards. Oh, I was feeling really good about this until triple decimate and I'm at 12. So obviously I need to deny. So I need my one deny. is obvious. I'll make this quick. I was feeling good about this game. These Minotaur Reckoners. I'm getting warmed up. Until just... Here's... What, 60% of your life total? Just... Gone with this card where you can't interact with it at all. Yay, congratulations. Play this card that does 60% of your life total gone with no interaction. Besides deny. Yeah. Oh, you don't have a deny? Well, 60% of your life total is gone. GG's. Alright, hopefully we play against like some deep. That'd be nice. Alright, some they who endure. Yeah, I could definitely play Spirit's Refuge for a little bit of life steal. It's not that reliable against a Frostbite deck. And there isn't, like, the hyper aggro decks running around for it right now. Without 
such a sound. The chains, they never stop! Shadows cut deep as any weapon. Just leave me alone! Alright, Emru, you need five more wins for Masters. Good luck. I wanna go you can do home. it. You got this. The enemy of my enemy barely tolerates. Of course, I need to steel tempest the sapling to keep my Zed alive, so that's why I'm not playing the key guardian. Stopping fear in the north is going to be a little bit of a problem. Do have Fury of the North are not using it on you know, on, on an aggressive play. I guess I'm okay with that. I can't okay, like Neverglade Collector is like the reason why I can't really um can't really play like a an arachnoid sentry first before combat. Is because if I do that then they could play the two four with um Neverglade Collector. Hey, Silence, what's up? From here. So, I'm doing good. Thanks for thanks for joining. Okay, so we are going to block here, definitely. And we're going to we're at two out of five. I mean, I was planning on playing Minotaur Reckoner this turn. I am a true master. Down to seven. I'll just play the one without the barrier, since we're not going into combat. These old eyes still see far clear. Scared stiff, but. Alright, so I do have the Steel Tempest for the They Who Endure. Obviously, I don't really have anything for Atrocity yet. We... I remember this last time, too. We're doing a terrible job of drawing Will of Ionia. You know how we talk about, like, that's the point of our planar deck. Come on, Will of Ionia. I'm getting 
Will of Ionia, please. I'd like to draw you. I follow only one of them. My own. Maybe they don't have atrocity. Give me a turn. No, that's not really how things are working out for us today. Always believed in second chances. Will of Ionia, you would have been amazing. Where were you? So the whole point of, of playing this Yasuo deck is to show how good Will of Ionia is. Alright, let's keep this Twin Disciplines to protect Zed. Well, sometimes your tricked up deck works, like with Fiora alone, sometimes your tricked up deck does not work. Like this one here. Um. I guess I should save Culling Strike for Fiora and just take this trade. I don't think it, maybe it's better to block the caretaker. They can get a lot bigger. Yeah, Lee Sin is just not very good. I mean, also Lee Sin's in the worst region in Ionia. So that's that's another thing that just doesn't have the support. Um, but yeah, the the kick animation is is really cool. I agree. But Lee Sin's just unpopular because. It's just, not. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to turn on. You have to have like a real abundance of spells, and that's not easy to do. Um, and it's just really slow at six at six mana when you compare it to other things. I would cut you down. Oh God. So my safest play is the stun, because if I try to go calling strike, they can have repose. Same thing with Twin Disciplines. It's my safest play is just stunning a Fiora right now. Remember the fall. Next turn we'll have two answers with Twin Disciplines and Colon Strike. Oh, or just Will of Ionia. The dragon lives. Will of Ionia is awesome. Talk about a card that's very good against the barrier. Lifesteal barrier, man, it's tempting. Yeah, I think I think we just try Culling Strike and just try to save Will of Ionia. That being the Lifesteal barrier, not Repose. Cool. Does any of something happen, I can do the plus zero, plus three, and make Zed a four, six. I've got your back. Uh, next turn. All right, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna play Blade Twirler. So I want to play Reckoner. I'll defend these forests to the end. Um. All right. Well, I guess I'm playing this thing. Oh, 
fluffy tails fool ya. Cost five now, so we don't get to Reckoner and Will of Ionia. This could be too aggressive. Could be. What? Did that? Okay. Anything for the right coin. That worked out for us. Stay back, My strength is Who's yours. Who's ready to reckon? And GG's, likely. Cool, no deny. They will all learn to feel my order. All right, we cast Will of Ionia. Our opponent immediately conceded. See, first time playing Will of Ionia, opponent immediately concedes. Card's so good. <laughs> yeah, Zed... Zed can be super scary. That's why, that's why I like Zed in this deck. We've, you know, Zed is kind of weak to some some things. You know, like we, we've ran into Culling Strike. We've ran into Petty Officer, make a, a Powder Keg plus make it rain. You know, we've ran into some things like that that um, are very efficient answers to Zed. But if they don't have that and you're able to just keep attacking with it, Pretty good. I don't know about this calling strike card. The okay, yeah, it's a two three. I was I was thinking about not stirred spirits, but whatever the the card that gives the ephemerals plus one plus one. Where are you? So I think this is an ephemeral deck with Callista and Hecarim and Ionia. Usually to play Ionia, you're playing ephemerals. And so I think that card is a two three, a two mana two three. And so that's what I was thinking about whenever I kept Culling Strike. Soul Shepherd. They have so many cards with like the double S name, and I kind of get them all mixed up. Soul Shepherd, Stirred Spirits. Um, there's some other ones. Whatever the the Plunder card is. There's a bunch more that are like two mana double S names. The enemy of my enemy barely tolerates you. Who's gonna get in my way? Shadows cut deep as any weapon. Please, I have connections! All right, I like keeping them from drawing two cards. Silent Shadows here. What's the Freljord card that's that's Plunder? Two mana, you draw one of the top three cards in your deck. I 
that's another one. What's the deck that I enjoy the most? It's a good question, and I'm not sure the answer to that question. I'm glad I didn't play another thing into that ruination. Now, okay, so I can replay either of these. Let's. Let's replay Zed over replaying Yasuo. Oh wait, I have a Zed Shadow Shift. Never mind. Let's replay. Or let's get the Yasuo back then, I guess. I'm gonna just let them all die and then re just replay Zed. Just play Zed in Arachnoid Century. Keep Bull of Ionia. Uh, no, not at all. I think, I think Trundle is really good. I think the the stats and everything, the body. I think that that card looks really strong. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I I just play so much different stuff and everything. I don't really have a favorite. Looking pretty good. We shall not rest until all betrayers be paid. I'll do what must be done. Because we got a lot of stuff. No, it's not a very exciting answer of just, I don't know what's my favorite, but I really don't know what that is. Obviously, I, I wish that they had priority first and that like they would play something and then I'd be able to play something back with playing like Yone back. But again, with Ruination, we don't want to play more things out before attacking. Shared Spoils and Sown Seeds. See, there's so many of them. So what would we say? Stirred Spirits, Soul Shepherd, Shared Spoils, Sown Seeds. Those are all the exact same name. They all have, those are all two mana cards. That's crazy. None of them are three mana. None, none of them are, are one mana. It's crazy. All right, but anyway, um, you know, we cleaned it up there the, the last couple of games. Uh, first first few, our, our opponents had some pretty good hands. And, you know, like, we, we are probably weaker overall than, like, the very top decks of the format. And that's what we saw with the first three losses where each one of them were the three best decks in the format with Bilgewater and They Who Endure and um, Frost by Midrange. Like, those are the three best decks for a region. For a region. For a reason. And uh, they had the right answers when they needed it or the right cards whenever they needed it. And so it felt like it was going to be a long day, but then uh, kind of turned for us the last two. Zed did a lot of work helping us pick up those wins. Um, only got to cast Will of Ionia one time. We definitely won that game, and we had Will of Ionia in, in our hand for game five that we could have cast, um, and we won that game also. So I do think Will of Ionia is pretty good these days against everything except for Riptide Rex, but you got to draw it. You know, if we would have had it against the Endure opponent, we would have definitely won if we would have had Will of Ionia, but we did not. All right, but anyway, yeah, Starlet Seer. Yep, that's another one. 
that's another one. Anyway, that's it here for Yasuo Z. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. I love seeing those comments over there on YouTube and try to respond to as many as I can. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.